Hello, Ride On people. Harley Davidson have been very quiet since before COVID. They've removed some bikes from their lineup and canceled or deferred previously planned models. Cumulatively, this has really impacted sales. In short, they need to shock the market with something new. For 2021, they're going to release their first full adventure bike. In fact, the official launch is February the 22nd. My initial impression of it was that it will be kind of low tech and overpriced, but I've been given some alleged insider information, both on the price and also the incredible unique tech. I've been unable to verify its validity, but if true, it will stun, surprise and lead to volume sales. Harley say it's a two wheeled multi-tool built to endure, designed to explore and engineered for adventure bike. As for all things marketing lately, they've used Harley File and Hoganista Jason Momoa for the launch video. Let's have a quick look at the curly hair Tomahawk stake in action. So what do we know? Well, we know it's a liquid cooled V-twin of 1250 cc and should make a very useful 145 horsepower and 122 newton meters of torque, which is about 90 pounds per feet. It looks like an adventure bike from the sides and rear, but the front end foregoes a beat to look more road glide like. What we didn't have confirmation of is the price. The price is speculated to be low to entice new customers. And it appears that the bike will actually start at just $17,000 or around the same as a Triumph Rally 900, for instance. Additionally, fully loaded versions will apparently be just $19,000. This is significantly lower than the market leader GS Adventure. Additionally, highly claimed category first, plural, and the one I've been informed about could be game-changing. Allegedly, the Pan America will have electronic suspension front and rear. Nothing too unique selling point about that, I hear you say. But get this, when you come to a stop and put the bike in neutral, it will apparently automatically lower the preload front and rear, meaning that the short of leg should now be able to get flat-footed. And as you pull away, the preload will revert back to its prior settings. This means the bike should have great ground clearance and appropriate ride height while riding along. No longer should you have to compromise by having one or the other. Like all brilliant ideas, it is genius in its simplicity. It makes you wonder why it's never been thought of before. Anyway, this is just apparent insider information that's been shared with me. Both the price and this brilliant new tech could be totally wrong, but I hope not. Ultimately, if the Pan America can be fully loaded for $19,000 and it has a couple of category firsts, such as auto lowering preload at standstill, then I do tip my baseball cap to Harley. They'll deserve to sell a boatload of them. I have my fingers crossed for Harley. They need to be bringing their A game in 2021. Let me know in the comments whether you think this will be fact or fiction and whether a well-priced Pan America with this type of tech just might tempt you. Ride often, ride safely, ride on. Hey you, if you want to become one of the Ride On people, don't forget to subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on.